that was attractive. <laughs> Hi and welcome to Raven and Rose. It's been a while and I am sorry that I haven't kept up with my videos but I have literally had one problem after another. I had a, a chest infection which took three sets of antibiotics to remove. I had a really bad cough and lost my voice which it's never happened to me before. It's the most bizarre thing when you cannot talk. <laughs> it's really bizarre. Um, I kind of liked it because weirdly um, people could understand me better when I was talking to them. Because I was like talking like this. And they would understand. Whereas if I say I'm talking like this, they'd be like, what? Hey, what? Pardon? So, yeah, and then I also fell down the stairs. Uh, <laughs> I fell down the stairs because the cat was sat on the very top step and I had a bowl of cereal that I'd finished eating in bed. I'm so lazy. Um, and I fell on my back and you know I have back and hip problems already. I fell on my back and halfway down realized that I was still trying to keep the bowl steady rather than me because I was like falling on my elbow with my butt, my back. Um, I had carpet burn on my elbows <laughs> for a while. Uh, yeah, and you can see this. <laughs> you can see on my stairway now where the point came where I thought, Shh, "This. Why am I trying to hold this bowl and not steady me?" So I, I let it go. And then also, I've washed the wall three times now. It has one little chip where <laughs> the um, the bowl hit, and then there was milk and cereal all over. Um, by the time I got back to try and clean it, even though I was in agony, the dogs had taken care of all the crumbs and the bits of cereal, which was awesome. <laughs> they are little bin liners, aren't they? Um, and then I've washed the wall three times and I still cannot get the stain off the wall from the, the sweet milk that was left over from my, um, from my cereal. So, yeah. But, <laughs> back to business, I will be posting more this year. I have a new room to work in. I am no longer under the stairs, which is awesome. My ex-husband and my children worked really hard to convert the summer room uh, in the garden, which basically meant the room where you put everything where you don't know what to do with it in. And all my ex-husband's tools were in here and he seemed to keep collections of screws on the floor and know exactly where each one was, I don't know. But they worked really hard at it for me because they knew that I was feeling really down because I couldn't, I couldn't sit for any period of time to record or I couldn't speak or I couldn't speak for coughing. So yeah, I am going to do a room tour but even though I've not been recording videos, I have been buying things and receiving my birch box and glossy box. So they're all piled up on my craft table. But yes, that is to come shortly. I will do a room tour and show you my lovely new pad. Um, but in the meantime, here is my take on a black smoky eye. I hope you like it. If you do, Please carry on watching and I'll show you how I created it. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so glad to be back. Gosh, I really waffled on then, didn't I? That was such an introduction. <clears throat> Verbal diarrhea.
So first of all I'm using my MAC Pink Pot and the colour is Soft Ochre. I'm using this as an eye primer because I do have discoloration on my eyes and I'm just using this little brush up against my brow because I've already painted my brows on and I don't want to go over that area. So I'm using a teeny tiny blue 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 beauty blender to cover the rest of the eye and I'm using the shade and light powder latest from the Kat Von D palette and I'm just going over that whole area so that it's nice and set and it will be super easy to blend. So there you go, both eyes primed ready for succubus. I love that name, succubus. And I have very droopy eyelid on the side uh, so I am obeying the rules of the hooded eye and applying the colour above where my natural movable lid is so that I can disguise that hood somewhat. I'm using the same shade to build up, I'm not using masses each time, just a little bit extra at a time until I reach the shade that I'm happy with. Now you can build this up to any shade you like, uh, this is just the way that I wanted to apply it. So I'm going in with a Naked Urban Decay Heat Palette, the He Devil colour, to add some warmth to that succubus, which it just blends beautifully with it, it's so nice. And again, I am swish swooping it all over the lid of my eye. And then I'm going into the Heat Palette and using Ashes, which is a gorgeous plum velvety colour, and I'm applying that just below where I've applied the other colours. It's still above my movable lid because I'm still trying to disguise it. Uh, that little bit of a hood I have there. And I'm going back in and just adding a little bit more succubus up at the top there to make sure that it's right above where I'm going to be applying the black. So then I'm using my black eyeliner from MAC, the Black Track Fluid Line, and I'm applying that right into the root of my lashes. You need to make sure it goes right into the root because you don't want any skin showing through that's going to ruin the look. So yeah, splurge it on. And yes, it does look a mess right now, but I promise it will get better. So I've applied it all over the movable lid area and I'm using Shax from the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. And first of all, I'm packing it on over where I've got that black eyeliner and then I will be bringing it up a little bit at a time and then using my blending brush to bring it up a little further and blend it in. Now, you do need to reapply the black just a little bit, so tiny bits of powder at a time because the black really does go a long, long way. But blend it up to a point where you're comfy. You can see there's a lot of dropout, which is why I've not done my foundation yet. Um, so yeah, you can expect a lot of dropout when you're using this much black. So even if I try and sweep it away, it goes into my pores and it looks terrible. So I'm using that same palette again and I'm going back with Succubus and I'm blending the edge of where I have the black just to make sure it's nice and blended and there are no harsh lines. Using a skin wipe to get rid of all of that dropout and then I'm using the lightest palette from the Kat Von D to just add a little bit under my eyebrow to make more space there and using a NYX black eyeliner to line my top lashes and again try and make sure that there's no skin showing through. And now onto my foundation. I'm using the Tarte Clay Stick and you can build this up to any kind of coverage that you want. Um, you do have to draw lines all over your face to make sure you get that coverage and I need extra coverage on my upper cheek area which I will add on at 
a later stage because I do have a little discoloration there that I am working on now. Um, you basic, I'm buffing and just moving it about, smudging it and there we go, adding on the extra on the cheeks where I just try and push it into the skin as much as possible. And now with the sharp, sharp tape, shape tape from Tarte again, I am using that as an under eye concealer and I'm also using it to tidy up the edge of my eyeshadow and then start forming the base of my nose contour. So I'm bringing it in to make it look like it's, it's part of my face rather than my nose. So I'm using that Ben Nye powder just on the areas I've used the concealer. If I use a lot near my eyes, they do tend to crease. Um, you don't need to worry about getting right up to the lash line when you're using the product because basically you're going to be adding shadow down there anyway. So there really is no point. So I am swooshing that off and going back in with that pencil to do the lower lashes. And I'm also doing it just below my lashes so that I can blend it in and make it just one with the upper lash area and my eyeshadow. So I'm going in with a little bit of that Shax on a smaller brush to try and blend both the top and the bottom of my eye together trying not to get it everywhere <laughs> which is very difficult to do with black and again just a little blend to blend it all together I'm not using any extra product on the brush here because I don't want any more fallout on my already done skin I have added just a little bit of succubus under there and I'm blending it in with this tiny little brush same brush that I use for just below my eyebrows and now I'm going in with a little of that lightest shade in the Kat Von D palette just below my eyebrows to give the illusion that I've not gone right the way up there with the colour it was supposed to be like that all the way along don't mind me never know we've been misses. So I'm continuing the contouring of my nose now with a fawn colour from the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit and I am bringing that right up to my brow and taking it down to the tip of my nose but not going further. So now it's time for a little bit of colour and I'm using the Hoola bronzer from Benefit and I am using it on my cheek first and then I'll be kind of doing a number three so you shade the top the cheek and the under your jawline and then I'm going into my contour kit just to apply a little bit of contour I'm not going super all out on the contour because I have a very very dark um, eye look which I don't think suits anything too shocking with the rest of the face um, going with that contour underneath my jawline and making sure that we're getting rid of a bit of one of those chins at least then in with the Havana blusher love this colour it's so pretty and yes I'm smiling to get some on the apple of my cheeks but also my face moves other than smiling so I'm taking it right up to out towards my hairline and then using light camera lashes as a mascara and I'm popping those cheapest chips eyelashes on and then going with the same mascara on the bottom lashes of my eyeball. I'm using sleek makeup for the highlighter. I've just kind of swooshed it through the whole of the, the palette and I'm applying it to my... <laughs> I'm applying it everywhere basically and then just building it up. I wouldn't usually wear this much on a day-to-day -day basis but for the camera to pick up I need to apply just a little bit extra. Going then with my lips I'm using a colour called Gingerbread from New Look 
and I think it matches my transition shade quite nicely so I thought I'd go for that kind of combination rather than going for a darker colour um, to match the shading. Then I'm using my Jouer uh, lip, is it, it's, oh, it's a lip gorgeous lip sparkle shine. I have just pressed my lips together which gets rid of most of it but that's habit. I have added it on after as well because yeah you need to see the full effect of it. So here are the finished looks. These are my photos, some with a warmer tone light, some with a darker tone light, so you can see the difference. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. I do really appreciate it, and I will be back with another video really soon. You take care, and I will see you. Bye-bye. <laughs>